before it snows. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Cecily Tynan, Bill Andrews, and Rob Jennings. The Delaware Valley is covered in a blanket of snow. Flakes began falling this morning and aren't ready to stop just yet. Plows that have been idle for most of this winter were very busy tonight. Traffic was slow and slippery in spots and shovels reappeared on sidewalks around our area. Saturday night, the big story in Action News is the first real snowfall of the winter. Let's go right outside to Cecily Tynan with the latest from AccuWeather. Cecily? Well, Rob, I measured four inches of snow here on City Line Avenue, and now it's just tapering off to flurries. Most of the storm has moved off the coast. There's a possibility at the shore, maybe another inch, but the storm system is winding down. Let's show you on Action Radar the system. You can see how already seeing some pockets of drier air moving in, and now the storm system continues to work off into the Atlantic. If we zoom in and show you just where the heavier precipitation is on Action Radar, you can see that it's just very light around Philadelphia, just really flurries. Uh, just north of Atlantic City, we're seeing more moderate snowfall. But again, over the next couple of hours, things will be tapering off. Tomorrow's looking pretty good, but the roofs are covered in snow. Live on Sky 6, this is Winfield. Snow-covered roofs, I haven't seen that this year. Right now, this is the call from AccuWeather as far as precipitation. Philadelphia, three inches of snow. Wynwood, close to six. Palmyra, New Jersey, four and a half. In Delaware, looking at five inches. Atlantic City, three. And Dover, six inches. The big question, how about tomorrow and next week? We'll have the forecast coming up in the AccuWeather five-day forecast. Rob? Thanks, Cecily. Now to the area that's seen the most snow this Saturday. Delaware correspondent Lauren Wilson, live in Wilmington. Lauren? Rob, this isn't a night to be out on the streets, and that's probably why we haven't seen a whole lot of cars out here on the streets of Wilmington. People, it seems to be, are heeding to the advice of Dell Dot officials who have asked people to stay off the roads if they can. Still, I got to tell you, we didn't have any problem finding people who weren't about to let a little snowfall stop them from having a good time. Why play outside in the frigid weather when you can play inside a warm entertainment center like Kahunaville in Wilmington? The palm trees and tropical decor here suggest warm weather right in the midst of tonight's snowstorm. Surprisingly, this place was packed with people who ignored warnings to stay home. Young and old alike tried to master an assortment of virtual reality games here, and some even hit the slope without ever touching an inch of the white stuff that is blanketing the Delaware Valley tonight. Nothing to do outside, so we came down here to kind of goof off. It's a great place. There's plenty to do, especially in this kind of weather. We had plans to come out tonight with our children, and we were going to do it no matter what. As for the weather outside, highways remain snow-covered and slick in some places, even though road crews spent the day filling their trucks with sand and salt. Still, the 14,000 tons on hand wasn't enough to stop a number of fender benders. As usual, major highways are the clearest, secondary roads are the worst. Despite it all, we found one snow lover who said, bring on more snow. They're calling for 10 inches. 20 would make me happy. 20? Would make me happy. Come on. I'm telling you, if I have my way, it's snow every day. Well, I don't know about all that. I do know that the roads are treacherous. So if you are driving tonight, stick to the main roads and be careful. That's it from here. I'm Lauren Wilson reporting live on the Action Cam in Wilmington. Thanks very much, Lauren. Many residents in the tri-state area did not let the steady snowfall ruin their Saturday evening plans. In South Jersey, it was business as usual at the service station on Route 73 in Mapleshade. In Moorestown, patrons put up their umbrellas as they made their way to a local restaurant for dinner. And a snow-covered boardwalk did not keep people from flocking to the casinos in Atlantic City. Not much of anything could do that. Now, the action cam now live on a deserted Route 1. Yes, this is Route 1 in Trenton. The road is wet, and here comes one car, two cars. A lot of people taking uh, the safety advice, staying at home uh, on this snowy Saturday night. Now, some residents had trouble reaching their destinations because of slick roads tonight. One driver lost control and hit a median on northbound Route 1 in Morrisville. Bucks County. It was slow going in other roadways throughout Bucks because of the slippery conditions tonight. And an Action News viewer captured these pictures of a SEPTA bus accident in Delaware County. Look at this. 
This is around 5 p.m. Erlington and Bennington Roads in Havertown. Authorities say a Route 103 bus went out of control in a slippery road and crashed into the utility pole. No serious injuries in this, but the accident did knock out power to 2,200 Pico Energy customers for about 30 minutes. The wet, heavy snow is being blamed for numerous accidents across our area tonight. A 30-year-old man suffered two broken legs in this multi-vehicle accident, northbound lanes I-95 near Girard. There was also a two-vehicle crash in the southbound lanes of 95 between Allegheny and Girard. And a driver suffered minor injuries after losing control and hitting a tree here on Kelly Drive. PennDOT says it's been on full alert throughout this day. PennDOT workers were placing a new chemical compound on top of salt as they prepared their trucks to hit the roads tonight. PennDOT says it had 50 trucks out for most of this snowy Saturday. We put a lot of salt down today. We'll be putting salt down all night because we hear the temperatures are going to drop to 29. And that could be uh, tricky tonight for tomorrow morning. PennDOT says traffic's moving smoothly on the major highways tonight. Now we go live to the Schuylkill Expressway. This is the scene of the Spring Garden overpass. A few flakes continuing to fall. Traffic very light, moving along. Again, a wet road there, but no problems. The snowfall may be inconvenient, but there were people out enjoying it tonight. This couple took a romantic hand-in-hand -hand walk through the wonderland of Fairmount Park. And the action cam spotted this cross-country skiing enthusiast content to just glide her way across the snow. Now, Kristen Z has been out tonight in South Jersey. She joins us live from Pensacola. Kristen? Rob, the snow is still falling here, and finally, it's starting to look like a winter wonderland. Take a look at these snow-covered cars. Just look at that. This one tells me that there was about, oh, four inches of accumulation right here at this spot in Pensacola. So while it hasn't been a terribly nasty storm, it's certainly been a tenacious one. <laughs> Snow fell non-stop tonight on many South Jersey communities. I got and figured it was going to happen sooner or later. You we know. can't go through all of winter without this, huh? That's right. We got to have it sooner or later. The first real storm of the year sent salt trucks out in full force. Consequently, there is little accumulation on major roads. From 295 in Belmar to Route 45 in Woodbury to 322 in Harrison Township, drivers say they can handle it. I think it's very easy. Um, it's not that drastic. Alexandria, Virginia is getting worse uh, weather down there than up here. You just came from there? I just came from there. And how was it like driving up? Uh, pretty bad. Uh, the roads were icy. When cars turn off a major road onto a side street, they may find a few inches of snow and occasionally ice. In many neighborhoods, though, residents say this is actually quite enjoyable. This family in Mullica Hill built a big snowman. Of course, it's not all play and no work. Shoveling driveways and scraping off cars, these familiar winter tasks are back, but folks say they don't mind. Just to be out having fun, that's all. You enjoying it? Yeah, enjoying it a lot. I like the snow. Well, maybe we like it because we missed it while it was gone, and hey, without the snow, you can't do things like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Hit my photographer. meant to hit you guys. Reporting live in the action cam on Kristen Z in Pensacola. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. Still ahead on Action News tonight. Let's find out more about the forecast now. John Bolares has more on all that, and he is outside on City Avenue with the hat and all the snow gear and braving the elements. John? Yeah, I'm wearing a lot more than that we're wearing, and you're definitely going to need that tonight. You're going to need a layered look tonight because it's going to get cold. Temperatures dropping into the 20s. And last year, I remember being out here and measuring the snow and instead of one of these conventional 12-inch rulers, I had a yardstick last year, and the snow swallowed that up. But let's use conventional ruler, the NBC snow measuring device right here. Kind of kind of stick it right into the snow in Ballard Kinwood outside our studios. One, two, three, four. Just a tad over five inches of snow. All righty. We hit this one. Five inches here. Now we're going to go in and around the region and find out just how much snow the entire region has picked up. Outside our studio, you, you just saw that. We picked up five inches at a high 34. 26 degrees right now. Now let's take a look at the snow amounts and just find where your city is and you can see how much snow you got. Violent picked up five inches. Washington Township in Jersey, six and a half inches. You get the snow ruler award so far. Pomona down the shore, 3.9. Philadelphia at the airport officially, three inches of snow. Mount Holly, 3.9. Trenton, you picked up four. Warnminster, half a foot. Winwood, almost a half a foot. Wilmington, just over five inches. Coatesville, three. 
Reading 1.9, half an inch in Allentown. So uh, Elmer, excuse me, six inches of snow in southern Jersey. So uh, basically, we picked up anywhere from three to six inches. This was the first one of the season. Temperatures in the 20s now, so the main concern will be icing up of the roadways, especially the secondary roadways and the untreated surfaces. So be aware of that tonight. There's going to be some slip sliding away. Radar, latest radar, when will this snow quit? Well, you can see the trailing back edge of it now about an hour or two to three hours away from Philadelphia, and it will be ending overnight. And by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, it will be done, and you will get to see sunshine during the day tomorrow. Currently, the light snow extends all the way back through Harrisburg, Pittsburgh, to D.C. Dusting in Allentown, one to three, just south and east of the Lehigh Valley, three to five, the average range in and around the city in the northwest suburbs just about just south and east of the city four to seven this will be the final tally and three to five inches along the shore point so your forecast for tonight as we say goodbye to that low pressure system snow to flurries ending before daybreak mid-20s tomorrow developing sunshine it's gonna look real pretty tomorrow sunshine and the bright white temperatures in the mid-30s and it'll feel real nice too and the five-day forecast as we move through the week well, Monday, fine, 43, melting continues. Melting on Tuesday, maybe just a little light snow. Next chance of significant precipitation, maybe a big storm system will be on Thursday with the chance of rain and or wet snow. But this one's just about done, and uh, we'll keep an eye on the possibility of the next one for the end of next week. Siani and Tim. With AccuWeather and the heavy stuff is over. Hmm? Yes, for the most part, we're just dealing with some flurries around the Philadelphia area. If you live at the shore, you may see maybe another inch of accumulation, but most of the energy from the storm is now way out in the Atlantic, moving away from us. Satellite 6 showing most of the very thick cloud cover also in the Atlantic. We just have a little area still working through, but then you can see west of the Delaware Valley, the clouds really thinning out. Action radar is showing that a lot of the moisture is really breaking up. The dry air is moving in out of the northwest, so still a little snow falling, but most of this just flurries and by tomorrow morning everything should be ending could start off a little cloudy from behind the system but then as this moves out and high pressure takes control by the afternoon we should see a decent amount of sunshine and temperatures will be above freezing so the kids can go out and play and it should be so tomorrow morning tides about one and a half feet above normal for the most part though the flooding should be minor green shade central New Jersey up to Long Island that's where it's still snowing light to moderately where another one to two or three or four inches could accumulate especially the western end of the island here around the Twin Forks area that could be the spot as we look at the temperatures they're well below freezing or at least slightly below freezing that's why it's snowing here look at that cold air to the north a very cold high pressure area temperatures at or below zero uh, 20 Boston snowing of course a uh, few flurries in Boston I should say you probably won't get much more than an inch if you, even if you get that around Lowell and Springfield New York City again you've had about three to four inches west end of the island another inch or so east end of the island again another four or five not out of the question so if you're traveling the uh, Long Island Express pin drop right I mean there is not anything going on just about anywhere you can even hear a pin drop on Paul's desk uh, the satellite map will prove to you that uh, things are pretty quiet, clear skies as you move back to the west into the northern plain states. All this gray color here, this is cloudiness, but 